Not only can we find, but we can also sort. A couple different ways you can sort. Let's say that I wanted to sort by the company name, so that all of the entries are in order by company name. You can see that right now they pretty much are, but let's go ahead and click within company name. If I want to sort in ascending order, I would click the sort ascending tool. Since we're already at least somewhat in alphabetical order in ascending order, Let's sort in descending order. So with my cursor in the field that I want to sort by, I'm going to click the sort descending tool. Notice that now the W appears as record one, and as we go through, you can see all of the other records are in reverse alphabetical order. I can go A through Z to go in standard alphabetical order. So the field that I'm within is very important. Now another way that you can sort instead of using the A through Z tool is you can right click within the contact name for example and select sort ascending. Now I'm going to be in alphabetical order by the contact name. And you can see that they're in alphabetical order. Notice they're in alphabetical order by the first name. That's because the first and last name are combined within the contact Now that we've taken a look at how you can find data as well as sort data, let's take a look at how you can filter while viewing a form's data. Let's click within the title and notice that we're viewing an accounting manager. What I'm going to do is use the filter by selection tool. I click filter by selection and notice that if you look down at the bottom on the navigation bar, you can see that we only have 10 records and they're filtered. And if I move from record to record, you'll see that we're viewing only the accounting managers. If I want to remove the filter, I can click to remove the filter using the remove filter tool. Let's go to another record. And this one is going to be in Spain. Instead of clicking the filter by selection tool on the toolbar, I can right click within the control and I can select filter by selection here. If I select filter by selection, notice that we have five records within Spain. So that's one thing that I can do while I'm viewing a form's data. Let's remove the filter and try something else. What we're going to look at is something called filter by form. If I click filter by form, notice that the form appears but notice that it appears without any data and no record navigation tools. Notice that right now the country of Spain is selected because that's the last filter that we used. If I open up this combo box, you can see that I get a list of all of the countries where we have data within our table, our customer's table. If I select USA and then apply the filter, which I do using the apply filter tool. You'll see that I have 13 records and these 13 records are all going to be in the USA. What I'm going to do right now is go back into filter by form. The country is USA but now what I'm going to do is click in the title. When I click in the title notice I get a little combo box. If I open the combo box I can now decide that I want the sales representatives. Because I've selected sales representative for the title and USA for the country, if I select filter, apply filter, I'm going to get just the sales representatives within the USA. And notice that this time only three records meet my criteria because there were only three records for sales representatives within the country of USA. Well, I'm going to go back into filter by form. And now what I'm going to do is leave this one alone, so sales representatives within USA, but I'm going to click this OR tab right here. I click the OR tab, and now I'm going to select sales representatives 
and I want the sales representatives within Canada. If I attempt to apply the filter, notice that I still only get three records. Apparently there are no sales representatives in Canada. Well, let's go back again to the filter by form. This time, when we go over to the OR tab, we're going to leave things alone for sales representative for USA. But for Canada, I'm going to delete the criteria for the title so that I'm going to get all the people in Canada regardless of their title. So when I apply the filter, let's see what we get. This time I actually get six filtered records. As I move from record to record, you'll see that whenever I have a record in Canada, that the record in Canada is not going to be necessarily a sales representative. Whereas within USA, all the USA records are going to be sales representatives. Here's another one. But now we go to another one yet. But for Canada, we now have a marketing assistant. If I want to remove the filter by form, I simply click the Remove Filter tool, and the filter has now been removed, and all 92 records within the customer table appear within the customer's form.